When I became a teacher, I didn't think that um, my other job would be encountering and helping and dealing with so many problems that our children have. The area that I'm teaching is, is an area of very high deprivation. We've got problems with gangs, we've got problems with grooming. Um, it's a, quite an unsafe of London to be working at. My name is Andrea Zafiraku. I am the Global Teacher Prize winner for 2018. I teach um, art at Alberton Community School in London. The school is the children's home. It's the place where they feel safe. It's, it's their beacon. It's, it's, it's meant to be their home. Um, and that's why it's so important that whatever happens in this building is quality and is safe and it really respects um, and helps the children to grow. I've received one million dollars um, as part of this award and um, this money I receive over 10 years and so what I've decided to do with this is to try and fix a problem that we have in the UK and that problem is the fact that our arts and the arts are being squeezed out of the curriculums in many schools, especially in the schools in deprived areas. Um, and I want to try and help that and try help schools because I believe that the arts are so important. They transform our students' lives. And what we do, um, we, or what I've done, I've set up a charity called Artists in Residence and we bring professional artists into schools to work with young people on very small projects to inspire them so that our children can see what the different types of professions they can aim to aspire to by having an arts qualification. Um, and it's just been brilliant, the feedback has been incredible and I'm just really proud of what's been achieved. I mean, being a teacher has been, it's very emotional being a teacher, you, because you're dealing with young people's lives and sometimes your reality, what you've experienced is completely different from what they've experienced and they are having some really tough lives and some of the kids, you know, when you, you, you worry about what happens when they go home um, but, and as a teacher, what do you do? Well, you've got to make sure you're doing is that you know that you're doing the best that you can, you're going in there every day, you're helping your children make the right decisions and hopefully that's enough to make them succeed.